Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today we are going to discuss another interesting interview question. Okay, uh, here we have to we have a employee ID, daily wages, and tax entry. Right? Okay, let's consider it. Okay, I'm changing that particular thing. First name, last name, salary, and created date. Okay, if you see here, okay, we have this kind of data, and we wanted to identify daily earnings. Daily earnings, how much they are earning as a group. How much they are earning as a group? How much are we paying? Are we paying for that particular employees in a day? For example, if you see the format which we see here, DD, MON, and after that year, Y Y Y, and then after that hour, minutes, and time. This time we are giving this much salary to this folks. Okay, in a day I have given eight as well as nine. Okay, we do have a ten. Let's go here. We'll understand much more about the data and table as well. Let's query this. If you see here, okay. If you see here, it's kind of time which we have it. Okay, we have a time here. If you understand this time, okay. First eight records are there, ninth records are there, tenth records are there. But different times which we have given the money to the money to the. Laborers, okay, or employees. Employees, we have given different time, but I want this kind of data. We have a timestamp here, but I want this kind of data to be to be given like this. Okay, output should be okay. Day wise, how much we have paid? Day wise, how much we have paid? Simply the question what they wanted to understand whether you are understanding the date functions or not. They wanted to understand. If you understand the date functions, give me the day-wise salaries, day-wise sum of salaries, day-wise total salaries. They wanted to understand from you. See, simply in if you understand this, how can we extract a day from this? Okay, we do have a we do have a day function, day function. Okay, we do have a extraction function in that extraction. Extract, extract function. Okay, in date functions. Okay, and that if you can go ahead and give the date from date or timestamp column, timestamp column. If you give that automatically, you are going to get first. Let's understand this extraction function. Let's understand this extraction function. Extract, extract, and create date time. Create date time. Okay, so from from what is the table name? Employees timestamp one timestamp one. So here you have to give day. Okay, day from this particular thing. Okay, what is going to give? It is going to give you the nth day in a month. Okay, we have a thirty days as well as thirty one and twenty eight days. Let's understand how it is going to display. Can you see here? What is that? Eighth day and the ninth day and tenth day. Tenth day. Now what we want exactly? We wanted to we wanted to fetch daily wage salaries. Okay, simply <coughs> simply what we can do here we can write it's a day day wise we can write it up as alias column as alias column just I'm giving as alias column. After that what you want sum of sum of salary sum of salary as total salary as Total salary. Now, whenever you are using aggregate function along with the column, what is the thing which you have to use? You have to do the group by of group by of this particular day wise. You have to do group by whatever the function which we are using in the select clause. Same function you have to use it here and then execute it. Then execute it. Let's keep it here. Let's keep it here like this. Okay. Now let me run it up. How it is going to display? Can you see here? Day wise, eight eighth day, two thousand two hundred. Ninth day, sixty one thousand six hundred. We have paid okay. And tenth day, we have paid sixty one seven hundred. So the intent of this question, okay. If you go to go back to question, the intent of this question, okay. How much you know about the date functions? How much you know about the date function? How how are you aggregating the data? How are you going to aggregate the data? If you have a timestamp out of it, how can you get the day as well as month 
and year. First, understand here we have discussed date functions, date function that is called extract, and then we have discussed about group by clause, group by clause, group by clause along with along with aggregate function, aggregate function. What is that aggregate function? Sum, sum. Okay. So using group, using aggregate function, sum of salary you are going to do the total salary. And group by you are going to have grouping that based on that date. Using date function, what you have done using extract function. What you are extracting out of time sum, you are extracting the day. You are extracting the day. Using that day, you are going to have you are summing it up. You are summing it up. Finally, you see this way. Okay. This is the way you can do that. This is the way you can do that. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And here you can see, okay, if we, we are going to start new batch on September 1st, okay, if you are looking for ETL testing along with the BA testing, please contact on the below number. Here you can see 9886-827-826. Please WhatsApp on this number. They can connect with you on training. Thank you so much, guys. And important thing, these are all the questions which is asked in interviews. Then only we are going to discuss here and then we are uploading in interview question series. Okay, most of the guys, they see if it is an interview question. Okay, most of the things kind of they are assuming. But here we are taking the interview questions from existing two students and we are solving as a, we are solving as a daily one question. Daily one question. And one more important update. Every day you can see after 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., Every day you are going to see the video. Every day you are going to see the video. We are uploading every day. And if you can take these videos and if you can go ahead and learn this and if you can attend the interviews, you can easily clear the interview. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for supporting and liking and subscribing. And even you can do the bell icon so that you can get the updates. Thank you, guys.